Welcome to Pro Player Breakdown. Today we're going over Scrappy and how he plays main AR and drops 56 kills on Embassy Hardpoint. Again, this is just here to ideally break down and analyze the pro player's gameplay and see what we can learn from it and apply it into our own gameplay. And if you'd like to follow Scrappy, please follow him at ScrappyNJ. That'll be on X and Twitch and anywhere else on his socials. All right, immediately Scrap is going for that middle cut. Boom, we get four dead. And based on that four dead, they will be spawning inside of bottom PD. And when they're spawning B bottom PD, obviously they know that Scrap is in a power position. So they're going to be sending players to try to kill him. Scrap is going to be worried about that. But he's also going to be prioritizing looking at this uh, middle cut as well. So right now we see him laying down. Um, we're going to see him just occasionally looking at these two spots to his left and middle cut. Once again, he plays for the audio timing where he's just laying down, doing another chess move, listens for the audio, stands up, gets the kill. Um, some would call that cheese, of course, but it got himself a two-piece. And right here, once we get two dead on the um, time, he's just repositioning right now to get closer to a uh, time to play for the trades. And ideally, you know, one, rotate, and two, maybe soak up uh, the rest of P1 time. All right, 10 seconds left, and immediately he just beeline straight to the rotation. So right there, that's another great play uh, by Scrappy, where he said, I'm just going to um, beeline straight to Hill. He should have won that gunfight. That was kind of nuts, but unfortunately he didn't. But now we get three dead. He's going for that middle cut again. And as you can see already, a thing we're picking up on from these main AR players is they're constantly getting to this middle lane cut to both get info, damage, and ideally kills. So right now we get a call out that his teammate spawned uh, middle, uh, we also have the player on white truck, and this is where we're just going to do a little bit of teamwork, right? Where Scrap is just going to lay down, focus up this entire left lane, and his teammate at white truck just needs to watch the uh, w right lane push through. And of course, when he needs to, he can look over Scrap and help him. He can also fight any players that go on time. Uh, so right here, this is just Scrap simply waiting for his teammates, playing for a kill, getting a cut on the spawners. And just because of that, he gets one kill. Now his teammates are here. And ideally, we should win the trades to soak up the rest of time. Uh, but unfortunately, the trades do not go in our favor. And at this point right here, I think it, we're down to less than 30. And because we get this middle spawn and we still have two players alive at time, of course, Scrap is going to go for this push and try to ideally get the Scrap. Um, he gets a good nade on the right. Go to Ego Challenge to get that kill. He has a 1v1. Beautiful two-piece to guarantee the rest of Scrap time. And I don't know if you guys saw that, but his teammates spawned over here at PD. So they're going to be pushing up for the rotation at uh, New. And uh, ideally, these enemies should only be spawning back alley right here. Oh, sorry. So, uh, mistake. I made a very critical mistake right there. Uh, his teammate over here was not bottom PD and was not at POTS. Therefore, these enemies are not spawning over here at Milk. Uh, what happened instead was this player was fighting um, top PD. PD, and because he's sitting top PD, he is actually not blocking the spawns bottom PD or back pots. Um, that's a mistake on my fault, uh, on my part, uh, but right here, once again, Scrap understands that's where they're spawning. He's going for that middle cut. We have a uh, essentially a 1v1 on time. And when's the gunfight? Based on all of these spawns, we may, th those are weird spawns middle, so we may be missing one, and there's an enemy probably going top PD, back PD, something like that. Uh, but for sure, these other enemies are going to be spawning out over at um, Milk and pushing up towards top bridge. There's the two kills top bridge that we talked about. There we go. Two dead, three dead. Those guys are going to be spawning bottom PD and pushing out. Scrap over here is just getting to time, helping his teammate on time, looking over it. Not only that, it's an AC power position. He can obviously try to get a few picks. Beautiful shots on his part. Unfortunately, uh, the enemies doubled up uh, orange right there, and Scrap predicted someone to be pushing up ladder, uh, it looked like. And unfortunately, he got traded out. And this is where uh, we're running into those tough gunfights that you were losing aimless. I just want to point that out, aimless. You were losing gunfights when you're flying into P4. It's it's normal. It's supposed to happen. He has a submachine gun. You have an AR. It's a tough one. Uh, but right here, there should only be two players in time. We get one kill. We get the spawns in the back. And right there, 
Beautiful three piece. All right, and again, just based on these spawns right now, we're gonna have our player over here cut all of middle. We have our players focusing back. I'd prefer one of these guys to kind of like make sure no one's going top and coming down into the staircase. And then Scrap ideally just needs to sit in a corner and hold this cross and hill. Um, of course, he can play aggressive and look for a few kills first, which that's what he's doing right here. He's looking for a kill first. And then once he gets that kill, I don't know if he was going to do that, but once he got that kill, ideally he would then like reposition to this corner to pop a reload and ideally hold his push. Um, but these enemies were able to push up. We're winning the trades though. Easy trades. And this is where Scrap is going for the rotation now. 20 seconds, going for the rotation. He's still always looking for this middle cut, see if he can get any damage down, any info. Again, holding a cross middle is so freaking important. Uh, just because holding this cross middle right now, it gives his teammates information on how many players are you know, crossing the hill. Such as right here, we see three dead. So we can assume that these three are spawning tennis court. And if Scrap saw one of them cross, he would give that call out, yo, one guy hitting your uh, side door. And he would also know that the other two players must obviously be rotating and playing probably top laundry, or I mean playing front laundry or playing in hill. And obviously there's multiple routes they can take. They decided to hit the back alley right there instead of going orange to time. Um, that's all that happened right there. Wow, beautiful shots. Yo, Scrap is a shooter. I will tell you that much because damn, he is not missing. If anyone wants tips on how to freaking shoot like this and hit like this, let me know. I'm always happy to help. Uh, but basically, it's shoot a thousand bots a day. <laughs> There's other things you can do to help the aim, such as like 316 before every kill or playing with no aim assist. But pretty much shooting a thousand bots a day, you're going to be shooting like this guy. Because right now, he's already on 30 kills and the first set of rotations aren't even over yet. All right, he just spawned in the middle right now. That means that these spawns are a little bit wonky. Uh, we could guess that maybe they're up P2 and crossing right here. Um, we could also potentially guess that they're probably about to push out bathroom or maybe even flip uh, uh, flip us from behind. Uh, so right here, I'm curious to see if Scrap just gets to time to play time or does he sit in this middle and play for this middle cut? Uh, let's go ahead and see what he chooses. He sits right here and plays for this middle cut. I agree with this play right here. Beautiful job because he, again, cuts that middle. And not only that, but this is the first time we're seeing Scrap actually push up and play a little bit more aggressive like a submachine gun. Because that first set of rotations, he kind of just sat middle, got those kills, and maybe if he was middle, he would probably push the Xbox, right? I, If I was in this game and I died middle... I would probably assume, oh, Scrap is probably going to go sit at Xbox because that's what he did the first set of rotations. But right here, Scrap does an insane play that I would not expect. And instead, he's pushing, playing super aggressive to go top uh, PD right here. And even though he doesn't win the gunfight, like that is a, that, that's a scenario that I would not predict, right? Um, chances are he got sound hoard. <laughs> More than likely, that's what happened. His scrap um, got sound hoard uh, by Slack. Slack knew he was coming up, and he won the gunfight. Um, good two-piece. We're getting the trades. Uh, we're probably going to prioritize rotations. Yep, 20 seconds. So with 20 seconds right here, normally what I would do is I would go across the bridge and start playing for the rotation, um, or you can go for a full rotation and get towards white van. Uh, it looks like right here, Scrap is just going to get to this middle cut and just get a bunch of damage down and ideally look over his teammates so his two teammates can then push up this middle and start fighting P2 head on. Um, that's kind of what I would assume is going through Scrap's uh, mindset. Again, I'm not Scrap. I'm not trying to you know, say, oh, this is a play that he should do. No, I'm just simply analyzing here. Uh, beautiful kill right there. And simply like that, that's what I'm trying to say is like, maybe in the future, because I hit this uh, ladder route right here, that's a predictable spot. And I just get completely waxed, right? Instead, Scrap, he made a beautiful play by coming middle, help, uh, looking over his teammates. He helped his teammates cross over to Hill, get into time. Now they're rotated. We have a teammate over here. He's going to be rotated. And now Scrap can just soak up Scrap and uh, fight the enemies over here. Um, that are going to be spawning over at Orange and Milk. So, amazing heads-up play by Scrap right there. 
All right, we got two dead. We have a rotation win right here. We got three dead. And this is where we should take a huge lead advantage unless we get pieced. Um, but yeah, right here, we keep piecing them immediately. The first thing that Scrap is doing as a main AR, again, get to this middle cut. And this time, instead of him like wrapping and going bathroom for the middle cut or wrapping to um, truck to like help his teammates, he instead pushed out over here to go for a middle cut from behind. And uh, this is also going to set him up for a rotation over at uh, P3 as well. And do we win the last few trades? Unfortunately, we don't win the trades, but at least we have Scrap over here uh, getting these, uh, getting this damage down middle. And of course, he's going to rotate towards uh, time. So I wanted to point out right here is even though that um, we lost the rest of that Scrap time on P2, we at least won the rotations for that P2, guaranteeing like 30 seconds of time. And then right here, we win the rotations for P3. Once again, probably guaranteeing another 30 seconds of time. Beautiful two-piece right here by Scrap. He understands that he's the last player alive. Based on that kill feed, all of his teammates were dead, so he has to just literally sit on this point and get as many kills as possible until his teammates can get the time. Flanking up on the right side. Again, right here, this is just Scrap uh, pushing up on this right-hand side just to play for new spawns, uh, for P4 spawns, actually. And uh, because he does that, his teammates are now spawning with him. And these guys are spawning at Tennis and pushing up this right lane. Uh, right there, Kismet actually spawned up Tennis and went for a bathroom cut, and that got him a two-piece. But Scrap, again, gets that trade on those guys' bathroom. And now our teammates are spawning at Tennis, which means uh, the enemies are going to be spawning ideally in the back or potentially over at Milk, crossing over towards bathroom. And then right here, we are now pushing out, going for this rotation. All right, so we got Scrap calling out uh, that all the enemies are orange. He spawned P2. He's calling out where the enemies are spawning. Right here, unfortunately, we get a nade onto our teammate. And... Uh, we're just getting bad, awkward timing right here. We just need a simple reset, right? Hey, guys, let's just reset, get a rotation, play for P1. This is the first time we actually see Scrap playing in this uh, top paper rotation, and he loses the gunfight, unfortunately. That's a really tough gunfight to lose. Um, but we're going for the streak right here. All right, he gets the call out so that there's two orange. So ideally, we're going to want to trap those guys orange and then focus the player top PD. There we go. We got three dead. Last player middle dead. And based on these spawns right now, these enemies are going to be spawning at PD, pushing out middle uh, tennis court. And then, of course, they're going to be going bottom bathroom. Maybe even one of them is going to go top PD as well. Just like that. Top PD, bottom bathroom. I guarantee you the last two enemies are more than likely going top bridge and like bottom orange or something like that. Um, there we go. We killed two players on the left-hand side. Big kill at P2. This is where we're winning the rotation, and this rotation right here is pretty much going to set uh, us up to win this game, ideally. All right, Scrap, 25 seconds left. That's a lot of time, but he's hitting this top bridge hit. Ideally, if he wins these gunfights, he's going to try to get these last few kills for Scrap, um, but if he isn't able to kill these last guys on Scrap, he's probably going to rotate back towards P3. Um, he's going for it. This is good. Ideally, his two teammates over here should be rotating for P3. And because his two teammates spawned right here, that means these enemies are already going to be pushing up um, top AC and probably already seeing an orange. So we got to be looking for them. Uh, but right here, we get the three dead. We get the scrap that we need. We need to know that there's two players new. We win the one gunfight. There should be a guy in orange. And unfortunately, those guys uh, just win the rotations just because we simply kill them off of p2 and that actually happened to you aimless and uh it's just call of duty it happens sometimes and when you're in the heat of the moment it's hard to pick up on you know what plays you should and should not be doing uh beautiful kill by kismet or i mean sorry beautiful kill by scrap on kismet Be beautiful two-piece and right here right now what's happening is Scrap just got a two-piece on bridge, so ideally this enemy is looking for uh, his push on bridge, and what Scrap did is he's rotating around, and he's going to cut all of the new spawners at bottom PD, and this is going to allow his uh, three teammates in orange to essentially have a 3v1 or 3v2 on hill, and then now guarantee the time and win the game. So here is Scrap going for the cut. There's... We're getting the kills, so right there, again, I thought Scrap was going to go for those uh, cuts on the spawners, but one of our players, Orange, were, uh, was getting those cuts instead. 
with 10 seconds left, this is where we all kind of just need to sit tight in corners on P4 and just win the game right now. Uh, so we're winning the trades ideally. Just got to sit in corners. No. I'm going to be quiet again, and we're going to listen in on these callouts real quick. All right, so there's a few things in these callouts that happen. So right here, Tommy calls out side door, side door, side door, side door. So obviously Scrap is responding to that. Um, but one small thing that could actually change the outcome of this is this player right here is picking up that side door. And if that one player said, I got side door, I got side door, Scrap would probably, you know, instead just stay focused on focusing uh, this left lane right here or this left hallway rather. Or maybe he would sit in this corner or sit in this corner and hold a cross on the bathrooms, right? Um, so like that's one small change that could have happened is just simply getting that call out. Yo, I'll pick up side door, don't worry. Um, but that doesn't happen. And uh, unfortunately, we die toilets. Yeah, and we just got flooded toilets right there. We get one call out uh, that there's a guy flanking our side door. And then it looks like three of them just kind of flat out hit our toilets and our hallway. And we lose the gunfights. And this is just a lack of just having information on where enemies are and where we need to look. And it's no one's at fault. Simple as that. I want to make sure that is clear as day. We are here just to analyze this gameplay, not give, you know, really any critiques at all. Um, we're just here to mostly learn. And uh, I would just say in a scenario like that right there, it's that that's just a tough loss. We don't have the info on where these players are. And it's just a really tough, awkward gunfight where we're just looking in the wrong spots at the wrong time. Um, but that being said, we at least got to watch, you know, Scrappy drop 56 kills, and I hope that some people learn something from it. If anyone has any questions, please let me know. I am always happy to help. 